Digging in now, Willie Stargell, and he'll be the one to begin the inning. The first baseman, Willie Stargell. Here comes the first pitch. And a slider tails outside for ball one. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. And he is out on the tag. Digging in the switch hitter, Chipper Jones. He's one for four for the game. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Behind 0-2 now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And another foul ball. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Another one sent foul. Now another 0-2. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Number six. He set and the pitch. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Swing and a liner. But there to take it is Cabrera, and with that, the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now. Now at the plate, Joey Gallo struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 Joey. ball game right here. Gallo. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. After falling down 0 2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Hit sharply on the ground. Scooped up. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now at the plate, Hanley Ramirez. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Dan Plezak, the six-foot-five-inch left-hander, takes over on the mound now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball that gets the inside corner. Strike one. Ramirez can't get that one as he swings and misses for strike two. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. Now back to the plate now, Bo Bichette. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And he fouls this one off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Ready with another two-strike offering. Possible winning run on first. One man away. To two balls and two strikes now. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Here's a fly ball well hit. Robles is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and it'll bring Joey Bart up to bat. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. In the air out toward right field. Yelich is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Now in the box, Buds Rodriguez. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. 
Rodriguez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there for strike one. Oh, one for count. Donnie looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. This is hit high in the air. Having chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Ozzy Albies will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Big hitter. Albies. Albies. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. Popped him up. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Digging in, Victor Robles. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. 0 2 count, the pitch. Count is one and two. Line to the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Now back. Into the box, Mini Minoso. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. Fouled away. Now the 0-2 pitch. Pitch outside. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Here's the 1-2. Line toward the gap in left center. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. Jason Isringhausen is going to finally make an appearance in this one as he'll take over in the 14th inning. On to the bottom of the 14th at the plate, Tom Glavin. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit out towards second. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Stepping in, Ty Cobb. It was a walk in his last trip. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. One and one. And the pitch. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game no to forget thus far. Four Rick strikeouts. Yeah. First delivery to him on the way. Curveball. And that misses in the dirt for ball one. Two out. Nobody on. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Adam hacking at the 2 0 change, and it's back 2 and 1. All even now, 2 and 2. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. 
Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he was outstanding. Swing and miss stuff on the mound in this one, as evidenced by all the strikeouts he racked up. That's dominant pitching, and he really took control of this game. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. Tom Glavin takes home the win. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. For the victory, one run, four hits, no errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.